Dolce just had breakfast and this is what she looks like right after she has eaten. Right, Dolce? We feed um, Dolce wet roasted chicken, roasted potatoes with chicken broth. So her muzzle will get wet every morning and this is mostly chicken broth. So this is our morning routine on how we just get ready for the day after breakfast because um, her muzzle will get a little dirty. Uh, Dolce stays pretty white. She's got pretty good fur. She did have some staining earlier because I was ill for quite a few months and I was unable to take care of them. But for the most part, she's pretty clean. We don't have to use, we, do, um, we don't have to do a daily soap washing of her eyes. I do use the Spa Lavish, which we talked about in a previous video. I use it just once when we bathe her. And this is what I use just in the bathtub, but I don't use it during the week. For Dolce, her face cleaning regime um, is mostly just for these few hairs that um, have some staining. And if I wanted to, I could really easily cut these five hairs or so out. But this is all that's left, really, of her tear staining. And what we do, what we've been doing probably for maybe a month, uh, just to get rid of some of these stains and uh, dry out her eyes, is we use contact solution. It can be any brand, but what you want to do is you want to look at the contents. And one of the top contents, besides the liquid, the purified water that they use, it's 99%. The second top ingredient is boric acid. And so that's what you want to look for when you're using a contact solution or an eye wash to clean their eyes. And I have noticed over the last month that it has helped with the spreading of staining throughout. So, this, so what I'll do here, let me do this maybe not every morning do I apply it, maybe three times a week, is I'll um, gently hold her head and I'll put the solution and rub it in. And if you notice, the water will beat up and want to fall right off. But you just put a couple drops, not in the eye, but just on the fur and moisten the fur. And you come over to the other side just on the staining and see the water sits on top so you kind of have to rub it in with your finger. Good girl, Dolce. Then you just rub it in and she'll shake it out a little bit. Good girl, Dolce. So then as you can see it really pronounces the staining when you wet it. So I'll rub it in a little bit with my fingers and then I'll use a Kleenex because her face is so small uh, using a towel would would be kind of I guess you could use a little washcloth as well the little baby washcloths um, but we have a big family so I don't like all the laundry that it creates so I'll just use a little Kleenex tissue and dry out and dry it out all right so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna take this tissue and dry it out because if you don't dry it out and you just put the saline and let it stay wet it could potentially cause more staining because of the moisture. So try to try to squish out as much moisture as you can. So we do this a couple times, maybe three times a week. Um, some people like to do this morning and night. Some people like to do it once a day. I don't really fret too much over Dolce because she doesn't, her stains don't bother me because it's just so few hairs. So now the muzzle is ready to be brushed out and I don't like to brush it out 
just dry because if there's any tangles it'll hurt her. So what I like to do is I'll take my comb and I will use any kind of solution. It could be just even water. I'll either use the Pure Paws Ultra Shine Conditioning Spray, which I will use before I brush her out, or just in case there's mats, and I'll use Ice and Ice. And the Ice and Ice recommends that you apply this to staining as well. I don't know how effective it is for removing stains, but it is absolutely fantastic as a detangler. So I've sprayed the Ice and Ice on the comb, and what it'll do is it'll help when I comb her hair out. There we go. To make sure I don't pull on the sensitive hairs around her eyes. Good girl. Okay, here we go. So her the ice on ice helps the comb to glide through and you really want to comb the face of the dog pretty gently because any hairs that are attached to the eyes, if there's an eye crusty, can really hurt them. So she's nice and combed out. Well, now we can use, I like to use this um, Madden comb because it'll pull out little eye crusties and eye boogers. Any fine tooth comb, like a face comb as well, can be used to pull out the eye crusties. So every morning, I don't typically redo her hair, her top knot every morning. Um, when I do the Dolce Flip, her hair usually stays for a couple days or three days. And sometimes if the play is not as rough as it normally is, it has been known to stay for a four or five days. Um, the advantage in our house of using a Dolce Flip for her is that the dogs like to pull on each other's top knots. It's a kind of a good grabber. Uh, um, if I just left her hair in a top knot, they grab the top knot and they pull each other when they're playing fetch and they start fighting. So by having her hair in the Dolce Flip, it um, makes it harder for them to use the top knot as a, as a tool. Then they start biting each other's tails when they start playing rough. But at least their hair isn't messed up after a session of play. So that's why I started using the Dolce top knot because I got tired of having the top knot getting destroyed every time they had a a play session. So here after you do, for the Dolce Top Knot, you want to loosen it because you want to take your fingers and loosen this back part a little bit because when you do the flip, you don't want this to be so tight that it pulls on the scalp of your dog. So even though it looks kind of goofy now because it's falling and loose, it won't, it won't look goofy afterwards. So you just make sure there's no hairs pulling and then you'll pull the, the point of this into the back, right in the middle, if you can. And hopefully Dolce will cooperate. And you'll want it to pop through right in the middle of her line there. And then you'll pull the... Hopefully you don't have as giant fingers as I do. You'll pull it through like that. And then you'll just pull it through. This is the new pink ones we just got this week. Isn't that cool, Dolce? So you'll see how clean the top knot is. What you'll want to do is check the back part and loosen it a little bit. And then you'll tighten this part. Loosen, loosen, tighten, loosen, tighten. And that's it. And we'll put on a little pink bow today, even though this is Pinky's bow. Pinky usually wears all the pink bows in our house. Actually, we won't do that one. But we'll do this one because I love this pink bow. And I don't know where I got this. It's so cute. And it's actually my daughter's. It goes with one of her dresses that she wore for 
a performance. So I'll put the bow behind where the top knot comes out of, but you can put it right here too and cover the flip. And that just changed everything, didn't it? So now with the tear stains, if you see, they're still a little wet. So to help this dry out a little bit, when I wet it, I do put cornstarch. As we showed you earlier, it's just plain old cornstarch. And what this does, I guess you would liken it to us powdering our noses. You know, you really don't want to have a shiny nose, so we carry powder, us women carry powder around. So let's powder our nose. We'll just put it where it's wet, and this will prevent it from spreading. Come here, Dolch. Okay. We're just going to powder our nose. Hair and makeup for the camera. Right, Dolce? It's tough being a lady. We have to deal with all this stuff. Vanity, right? Well, that just flew away, but that's okay. So after you put the cornstarch, you'll rub it in with your fingers a little bit to help dry out the surrounding hairs. This will prevent that rust staining from spreading. And then I like to comb it out. Good girl. I comb it out with the metal comb first because it has a little bit finer. So now every morning after we fix her face, before we do the body brush out, we'll quickly brush her teeth. So I put a little bit of this CET Vanilla, it's enzymatic toothpaste, on a little tiny brush that's also from CET. And then I gently come in from the top above her head. I don't necessarily like yanking on her beard. So I'll come in from the top and then I'll gently hold her beard. Um, I'm not really hurting her though because she's, when I encourage her to rest on my, my chin, um, I've trained my dogs to kind of rest on my chin, so I encourage her by just putting a little bit of pressure on top, but I'm taking too long now, aren't I? And then I hold her for a little bit, but not pulling, and then we'll just brush Brush, brush, brush. Ooh, and there's food that just got dislodged from breakfast that she just ate. And then I'm going to rinse the, rinse the food out. Yuck. So that food, had I not brushed it, would probably have formed some plaque. So we'll put some new toothpaste on. And let's raise the camera so folks at home can see better. I'll come in from top and let her rest on my my hand and gently hold her beard but not ne not necessarily hurting her we'll go in and do the other side good girl and you really want to get these ones here ooh nice and Fresh. Okay. And then what I do, why, quite, if you look at the water here, there's quite a bit of food that came out. I don't know that you want to see that, but it's... So then afterwards, just in case I've missed, I will put a little bit in the back especially, because that's where the plaque forms the most. I'll put a little bit of this toothpaste on my finger, and I place it on those... And my fingers are tools, they're not jewels, so my fingers are pretty rough. I feel like my fingers are just as rough as the tooth, maybe rougher than the little baby toothpaste brush that I use. And I'll do that, and I'll put some in the back on the other side. And just rub it a little bit, because I know that's real good. Spray brush every morning, I will use the conditioning spray by Pure Paws. It smells really good, and it there seems to be no buildup, so 
Her hair stays nice and fresh. It's been, believe it or not, it's been um, a week, a little over a week since she got a bath. And it's been two months since she got a groom. So her groom has grown out really nicely. And this will make her smell as fresh as if she had had a bath. So I don't have to bathe them as often as one would think. I used to have to bathe them once a week. And now I only bathe them once every two weeks, I would say. So what I've been enjoying the most lately is this green firm cushioned brush and I start with the front brush down and then I'll lift her legs again using the pins to go sideways instead of digging this way I actually go sideways so that all the pins are not digging into her skin I'll do this leg good girl Dolce this Firm Apple Green by Madden has become one of my favorite brushes. It's, um, I think it might actually eke out the Baby Blue that I used to love so much. And the Baby Blue is a medium cushion. So the back leg, as I showed you, I lift the hairs and I go from the bottom because you can miss a mat if you just, if you just brush the top, then you, a mat that's hidden down here you, you would develop and you wouldn't even know. So by pushing all the hairs up and then kind of bringing them down little by little, you can kind of make sure that you don't miss a mat. Then again, I'll start by going up. I hold the hair with my finger and then I take a little bit down at a time. Then I go sideways make sure the hairs around the front of the leg have been brushed. Dolce seems to be okay with this firm cushion brush. I really, 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 really love it. And we'll come around and we'll do her tail. We check for any visitors back here. And she has, ah, here we go on camera. And guess what that is? That's a little dingleberry. So what I'll do is I'll spray it. with ice on ice and I will remove the pesky hitchhiker gone Ew, that's exciting we have that on camera all right so no more hitchhikers wrong there's another little tiny one right here I don't know if you can see there you go can you see so this is just a flea comb. It's a designated dingleberry. So we have one here, one here. Didn't you all want to just see that? Anyways, so it's kind of nice that we do this morning brush out every morning and we do a brush out before they go to bed and we do check for hitchhikers. And lucky you, you got to see two of them get evacuated. Escorted away, right don't you? And that's our daily routine in a nutshell.